Hello, my name is Suhail Agwani. I'm responsible for High Pass Solutions Product Management for NXPRF. I'm joined here today by my colleague, Eric Westberg, who is the Product Line Manager for Integrated Product Solutions Portfolio. Hi, Eric. Hi, Zuhel. It's uh, nice to be with you here today, at least virtually, and thank you all for joining us online. We are excited to share with you an update on the 5G market and the technologies that are enabling the global ramp of this new cellular infrastructure generation, specifically how gallium nitride on silicon carbide, or GAN for short, is coming into its own and enabling this new market. But first, a little history on cellular infrastructure generations. We're talking about the technologies that enable the cell phone towers you see as you drive up and down the expressways. Today, we're talking to you here from Arizona, where we have a different way to hide these antennas, sometimes more successfully than others. Most of our cell phones and other devices today operate on a 4G network. They, the access part of the network is primarily built through traditional macro base stations. This offer this often consists of the passive antennas on the tower powered by the electronics in a building at the base. And as we look towards the future, 5G intends to improve on the 4G network in three key ways. First, an increase in data throughput. Second, a reduction in latency. And third, by enabling many, many more connected devices. To meet these new improved capabilities, there are several new base station architectures being deployed include enhanced macro base stations and remote radio heads, small cells, and a new generation of systems referred to as active antenna solutions or massive MIMO systems. There's also new frequencies being used across the globe for 5G, but really to enable this success of 5G deployments, this new generation of cellular infrastructure technologies needs to be smaller, lighter, and much more power efficient. Yes, Eric. In fact, to allow for an even quicker adoption of 5G than previous generations, the base station industry has needed to look for new architectures and technologies that not only enable faster networks, but also deliver improved energy consumption, which as we know, is environmentally responsible and at the same time also lowers the cost of running the networks for the operators. Now, for many years, gallium nitride has offered the promise of high performance, and even though GAN has been in use in the aerospace and defense segments for quite some time now, the technology had not yet reached the level of maturity needed for consumer-driven markets. The high power densities of GAN and energy efficiency has always been seen as a key to compact radios. And now with 5G upon us, we not only need smaller and lighter radios, but also many more in numbers than were ever needed in previous deployments. And of course, as you said, spectrum expansion means that the range of frequencies used for transmission continues to grow as well. So this is really great timing for GAN, where the market forces are aligned with technology availability and to make it happen. NXP is ready to make this 5G transition a reality. We are so excited to be a part of this 5G revolution and look forward to continuing this conversation with you. Thank you again for joining us today.